All right, well, here we are. Uh, you know, I've had a couple people ask me to do a review of the Fox Pro hand calls, and that's what we're going to do. Um, I haven't had the time previously, um, well, at least the time behind the calls to give an honest opinion or honest review of the calls. Um, well, caveat, I am a Fox Pro field staff member. However, I believe in an honest opinion, honest review, and I have never and will never give a biased uh, opinion of a product I do not totally believe in myself. So, here we go. We have the five calls. First is the larger open read call. It is called the, uh, the 4K9. The smaller version is this one right here. It is the uh, 4K9 Pup. Then we have the closed read um, stuff, and this is the uh, Jacqueline Hyde. It's a double read um, inside there. Gives you a unique sound. And then its smaller version, the Tantrum, right here. It's a single read. Um, and then finally, we have the uh, Kamikaze. This is a bite mouth call. Uh, just gives you a really unique, different sound. So I'll go through them now one by one and uh, run you through what I what I think what I like about them, and what I don't. So I will tell you right now. Initially, when I first got these calls, I, I was a little leery. Um, they are production calls. However, the uh, quality and attention to detail that they put in here is a sec to none. They are a flexible body, which, again, I wasn't really sure I'd like. However, it's really pretty awesome. Um, it's because of its rubber uh, texture. It holds in your hand very well. It has a uh, slanted or canted um, opening, which you can turn how you like. I turn it um, to be perpendicular or parallel, however you want to look at it, to the, uh, the mouthpiece, to where when I put it in my hand, I can easily open and close it. Um, as I as I call, it's really uh, form fitting, if you will. Now these two are are by far my favorite uh, calls. I take these with me everywhere I go on every stand. They hook to my uh, vinyl harness here. Um, that's the 4K9 and the um, Jacqueline Hyde. This one is awesome for Havelina. And uh, if you check out in the description below, you can see a uh, video where we actually use this to call in Havelina repeatedly. So. Back to the 4K9. Okay, so open read call. It's a coarse sound. I love it for out here in Arizona in the West. Um, it just produces a really nice coarse sound, Jackrabbit-esque. You can produce uh, kayais and um, howls, everything with it. It's a very versatile open read call. Um, if I had one call to choose, it'd be this one out of the bunch. So here's a little, uh, little sound clip of what it sounds like. So like I said, really versatile call. Um, you got all the sounds you really need on this call. Okay, and then after the uh, 4K9, we have the Jackal and Hyde. Again, this is a, a double read um, call. I'll give you two sounds coming out at one time, really. And that mixed together gives you a nice, nice coarse sound. So here, here's a little sound test on it. Just a great, coarse, close read sound. Uh, love this again for Havelina. Uh, Bobcats love this, this kind of coarse sound. You can call them really anything with it. Um, okay, now, going on to the other three. I don't carry these with me on every stand. Um, I do carry them uh, as the stand uh, presents itself. So this uh, tantrum we'll start with first. Um, it's a much softer, quieter sound being in the West as I am. When we have wide open spaces, um, I really just go for the louder volume sounds just to get my sound out there. Now, if I'm coming into some tight cover, um, looking for to call in, you know, some bobcats, maybe fox. Great, great call. So, here we go on this one. Next we have 
the um, four canine pup. Just a smaller version, different read um, than the larger version, and it's going to produce uh, more uh, high pitch sounds, obviously, with that uh, more flexible um, board there. So here we go on this one. Really great for those uh, soft pup pup sounds. So getting a lot of breath here. All right. All right. So lastly, we have the kamikaze. This is a bite mouth call. It is a very unique sounding call. Um, something you just can't produce out of any of these other calls. Um, just just a great another call to add to your arsenal and get that uh, variation in uh, your sequences. So here's a little test here. That's how I like to use it. Um, it just really produces a sound that uh, just sucks in fox like crazy. I'm sitting here and I keep looking around thinking I'm going to call one in just because it's such a great sound and just sucks those, those fox in. Um, but that's it. That's uh, all five of the calls. Um, you know, um, like I said earlier, I was a little leery and I really shouldn't have been. I mean, there's nothing but the best that comes out of Fox Pro, but until I got them in my hands and um, really put some wind behind them, I didn't know. And uh, now I can tell you these calls are legit. I will leave you with this one little note or side story. Um, we uh, participated in the uh, second annual Arizona Coyote Calling Championships uh, this year, 2016, placed second only because of uh, check-in time. We killed 11 coyotes, called in 15 total, and uh, every single one of those coyotes was called in with this 4K9 hand call. Uh, it's just a real true testament to the quality of sound and quality of craftsmanship that uh, Fox Pro produces. Um, that's it. Uh, if you want to check in for more videos like this, reviews and action further down the road, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and until next time, boom down.